So usually I do eBay unboxings. Today it's Etsy unboxing. And so, well, I cut my address out. I wanted to show you how fancy the seller was. I cut it out. I don't need any uh, YouTube stalkerazzi showing up at my front door. <laughs> so nonetheless, she had written in really nice marker, like calligraphy pen on my name and address. And she did something pretty fancy and cool. What she did was she affixed a vintage, like it looks like a 1930s photograph of some stranger I'd never met. And so now this lady is part of my family. I feel guilty throwing out an old photograph of some lady that probably is no longer with us. And she looks like her name should be Mama Leone. And she looks like she made some good sauce. <laughs> she looks like a nice Italian lady, like someone who would be in my family. And so let's get this box open and let's check out what's in it. Stay tuned one second. So I took the photo of Mama Leone <laughs> off the box and by accident I ripped it. And now I feel guilty. I feel like Mama Leone is going to come back from the grave and get me now. <laughs> so nonetheless, here's what's inside the box. Now I have to unwrap all this wrapping. And so then I'll show it to you. So stay tuned. So this is what I got. And this is like the grand pooba of Knickerbocker teddy bears. Now I've been collecting Knickerbocker bears for a while now. And my goal is to get the earliest Knickerbocker bears that were ever made. And Knickerbocker was a New York company that made plush animals. Like not only did they make bears, but they made plush animals starting sometime in the 1920s. I think 1921 was their start year. And um, But they were a business from the mid-1800s. And they made educational toys. But back in starting around the earliest known record uh, of them selling teddy bears and plush was about 1921. So this one is one of their early 1920 bears. And you can tell because of the way the nose is stitched horizontally going across. And their later 1930s and 40s and 50s bears and on had vertical stitch noses that went up and down. Now this bear also has very long arms. And they're curved up at the corners. That's another uh, known thing about early Knickerbocker bears. And also another dead giveaway is the later Knickerbocker bears from the 30s and on had velveteen paw pads. And this has the original felt paw pads of the early, early Knickerbocker bears. So he's also a white bear. And uh, when they first started coming out, the white bears uh, were amongst the earliest ones. You do see 1930s white bears and 1940s white bears, but this color um, is telling me and the felt paw pads and the shape of the nose and stitching and the shape of the and the length of the arms is telling me this is an early Knickerbocker bear. So I thought you guys might be interested in also seeing some early advertisements from Knickerbocker that I photocopied. And uh, this particular one is from January 1928. And this was uh, an ad that was taken out in Playthings magazine. And so we have Billy the Lucky Pup, 1928. And look who's here. Does that person, well, that little bear, look familiar? Well, there we go. That's my bear. And look at the little ribbon around the neck, the silk ribbon. And here we go. So that's always so cool to see like an early ad and helping you to date your antiques or vintage uh, items. So uh, that's really cool. So here's some of the other animals that they had sold in 1928. So we have a bear on all fours on wheels, Billy the pup on all fours on wheels. And we have another kind of dog over here. We have a little bunny rabbit. And again, our bear that I'm showing you here today that's in the flesh. So here's another cool thing. This is a 1935 Knickerbocker Toy Company ad. And here's what their 1930s bears looked like in this illustration here. And here's the prices. Look at that. So for an 11 and a half inch bear, it was $10 and change for a dozen of them. And the largest bear being 29 inches was only $4 for one dozen teddy bears. Now their deluxe bears had longer shaggier uh, fur and the cheapest one was $22.50 a dozen. Can you imagine that? And their largest one in the deluxe bear was $60 for a dozen. Then they had these gigantic ones, one being 40 inches tall was $18 each. And in 1935, their, I think that says 36 inch was $12.50 each. Now the musical teddy bear, I have one of them from the 1930s, was, let's see, it's hard for me to see right now. 
$33 a dozen for a 15 inch bear. So, wow, those prices were amazing. And that was 1935. Now, another thing Knickerbocker is known for is they made the Mickey Mouse, the first, one of the first Mickey and Minnie Mouse dolls in 1934. And here's one of their ads with Mickey shown here. And they were made out of like a velveteen material. And here's what the ad says. You want to just read it to yourself really quick. You can hit pause if you'd like. And that was 1934, exclusively made by Knickerbocker, who had the license from Disney to make these uh, Mickey Mouse dolls. So I really love this bear. He's really sweet. And he's uh, an early one. And that's what I really like to collect, these early ones. Look at his little snout and the way his head was shaped. And again, it looks just like this guy here which is so majorly cool that I have an ad dating from 1928 showing you that bear. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.